hello what's up guys my name is Krishan Frehley and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, customize auto optimize WordPress plugin to have better loading speed on your WordPress website so if you are excited to learn how you will customize this plugin then let's get started so the first thing you need to do is to go to the dashboard and once the dashboard will loaded you will head over to the plugins section and then from here you will click on add new here you will search for auto optimize and here is the plugin just simply click on install now and once that is installed click on activate Once the plugin will activated, you'll see a new tab here that will have CSS or JS cache info. You can click on clear CSS and JS cache to remove the cache from your website. And then in order to customize the plugin, you will head to these settings and then you'll click on auto optimize. From here, you'll see that we have multiple options available so let's start with optimize javascript code now this option will only optimize the javascript code that is available on your website this option will only aggregate the javascript files if you will check mark this option now aggregating javascript files may increase the loading speed of your website depending upon what plugins themes or page builder you are using in my case I'm using Elementor page builder so settings will remain the same if you are using Elementor page builder WP bakery or the DV builder settings will remain the same so you will first click on optimize JavaScript code and then uh, it will optimize the JavaScript code later you will click on aggregate JavaScript files so this will aggregate all the JavaScript files available on your website now the next thing is that you can also aggregate inline JavaScript. Now, if you choose this option, what it will do it is it will actually increase the cache size very quickly, and as a result, your website speed may reduce. As it states here, let auto optimize also extract JavaScript files from the HTML discouraged as it can make auto optimize cache size grow quickly so it is not recommended to use these options uh, to aggregate inline javascript also if you want you can force all the javascript on your website into the head tag but again this is discouraged because it can cause the javascript render blocking on your website then the next thing is also try catch wrapping if you want to aggregate script script breaks because of javascript errors you may want to try this but generally it is discouraged now let's assume that you clicked on optimize javascript code code and you aggregated the javascript files and then uh, you uh, came into a situation where the javascript uh, causes error on your website so in that case you may like to try this option but generally it is not recommended so it is discouraged also if you want you can exclude scripts from auto optimize by default they already have excluded all the jquery and js files so i don't think you may need to exclude any other things in here but in case if you want them if you want to exclude some scripts from auto optimize what you can do is to simply add a comma and then add the folder name in here just like they have listed the folders name there then the next step is remove unused javascript uh, this basically explains you that auto optimize combines your themes and plugin javascript files but does not know what is used and what not if google page speed inside detects unused javascript consider using a plugin like plugin organizer organizer or similar to manage what javascript is added where so this plugin will help you uh, determine where the javascript is added on your website so this 
is all the setting you need to do if you're using a page builder such as Elementor. Next up we have the CSS option. In the CSS option, very first thing, same as before, we have optimized CSS code. Now this option will not aggregate or change any of your CSS files. This will only optimize the CSS code. Nothing more than that. If you click on aggregate CSS files, now this will actually aggregate all the CSS files. Now it says if this option is off, the individual CSS file will remain in place but will be minified. So if you uncheck this option, this will actually all the CSS files on your website will remain on the same place and they will not minify it. But if you want to minify the CSS files, you can click on this icon. Now the next option is very important because if you it says also aggregate inline CSS. Check this option for auto optimize to also aggregate CSS in the HTML. Now for the page builders like Elementor, WP Bakery, and Divi, they all are HTML based page builders. So they use dynamic cache. So if you choose aggregate inline CSS, what it will do is uh, after some time, the cache size on your website will grow rapidly and that will cause the page speed to reduce so in my case i will uncheck this option because i am using elementor page builder so it is recommended if you are using any page builder such as uh, elementor dv or wp bakery just simply uncheck this option next up we have generate data urls for images if you want you can click on this for me i will click on this option because for the smaller background images it will simply create a separate url for them so that is totally fine for me next up we have option to eliminate render blocking css it says inline above the fold css while loading the main auto optimized css only after page load okay so this op in this option the css will load only after the page will load if you want you can click on this and you can then uh, paste the fold css here but for me i don't want to add any of the fold css so i'll uncheck this option then again if you want you can click on inline all css but in my case i'm using a page builder and if i will choose the inline all css what it will do is that it will inline all the CSS file that the Elementor page builder is choosing and as a result the file size for CSS will increase that will cause the page speed to reduce so I'll keep it as unchecked next up if you want you can exclude some CSS from auto optimize already uh, what is required is already excluded so i don't think i need to exclude any of the things but if you want you can add a comma just like this and then you can add the file name right next to it next thing we have html options so i'll click on this optimize html code and if you want you can also keep html comments so I'll enable this option as well to optimize the code. Then if you have CDN based URL of your website, you can include the CDN based URL in here. But for me, I don't have any CDN for, CDN for now. So I will keep it as blank. And then we have some miscellaneous options. In the miscellaneous options, we already have these four these five options checked keep them checked as they are and then you can click on save change changes and empty cache so by that all the settings will be applied now these settings are totally based on page builders such as elementor dv and wp bakery for the javascript option you will have to click on optimize javascript code and then you can aggregate the javascript files for the css do the same thing also generate data for url of the images optimize the html code and then you can also optimize the html comments as well and keep the miscellaneous options as they are 
next thing in the next tab we have the images for the images we have options to optimize images using short pixels global cdn now i don't have a global cdn for short pixel subscription so i'll keep it as unchecked but i want the lazy load images so the only images that are on viewport will load it first make the page speed faster than what it should be now uh, and the next tab is critical css that is totally based on render blocking css if you have api key you can insert the api key from criticalcss.com in here i don't have critical css api so i'll keep it blank they have some monthly fee you can check their website for more details then auto optimize have this extra step if you are using google fonts or your website then leave it as is i'm using google fonts so i'll leave it as it is now but if you want to remove google fonts you can check this option if you want to combine and link the fonts into head then choose this option next up if you want to combine if you want to combine and link deferred in head then choose this option this will include the display colon swap and combine and load fonts with webfonts.js deprecated this feature is already deprecated so for me i'll keep it as leave as is then remove emojis and remove query strings from static resources uh, with that you can click on save changes and then the next tab is optimize more tab this tab is purely based on auto optimize on related plugins so this is not very important so this is basically all the settings you need to do for opt auto optimize plugin for your website if you like this video please consider subscribing to my youtube channel so that you will never miss an update from me thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next